Stofile's memorial service will be held at uh, Abbotsford Christian Centre in East London on Monday. He'll be buried on Thursday. Now, a symbol of resistance and resilience, the life of 17th century Khoi woman Krotoa has been celebrated in Cape Town. Krotoa was the servant of a Dutch colonial administrator, Jan van Riebeck, from the age of 10. She later became a leading interpreter between the Dutch and the Khoi tribes. A symbolic repatriation of Krotoa's spirit from the Groote Kerk, where she was baptized as Efa, to the Castle of Goodhope, where a monument has been erected in her honor. Kratoa was a leading figure in the Dutch Khoi relations of the 1600s, instrumental in bringing about the end of the first Dutch Khoi war in the Cape. She married a Dane, the first mixed-race marriage in South Africa. After his death, Kratoa was banished to Robben Island. Today is very significant because we bring him back into popular memory. A historic figure, not only historic, but someone that had an indelible fingerprint on the history of this space. So in the, in the popular domain, we all need to know about Kritoa. Why is it that our history books speak very little of her? Even at, on, on schools, they don't really discuss Kritoa. So this is a big event. It's a Tseske Amatamae. It's a great day, isn't it not? for people to realize how interconnected they are because Kritoa is really the mother of South Africa. The celebration of Kritoa's life coincides with the 350th year commemoration of the Castle of Good Hope and Women's Month. For me she's a symbol of uh, defiance, symbol of resistance, symbol of resilience, I mean, she symbolizes everything a South African woman stands for. By the time she died, they perceived her as a drunkard, an alcoholic, and a prostitute. They had forgotten completely about the vilification she had been subjected to, the pain of being ostracized by her own because she had to be this bridge between the Khoi and the Dutch. Some Khoi leaders, however, say they remain a marginalized people. I, from the Kharakokwa, believe that a Kodesa, a mini Kodesa, should be organized to meet with all the leaders of the Khoi Khoi people so that we can live out the United Nations Declaration of Self Determination for the Khoi and the Bushman people. Kritoa is also credited with being instrumental in crafting Afrikaans as a language. Vanessa Puna, SABC News, Cape Town.